breaker. Doble 080. Fue el breaker doble 082 que explotó, ¿sabes? Se destruyó ese breaker. El breaker doble 082 se llevó a la base, eso es lo que Tú sabes de aquí, pues explotó completo. Explotó completo. Shalom. And Shalom, Yasharala. This is the brother Nathan coming at you with another lesson through the spirit, through the power of blessings of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And the Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying and comforting to the hopeful elect of Israel. But as always, first and foremost, I want to start this lesson off by giving all honor, glory, and praises unto our power Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha, Gwadash. I want to give double honors to the head apostles, the elders, bishops, teachers of great millstone who rule well and teach well across the four winds with sound doctrine to the like-minded brothers, the Akim, who are under the umbrella, pushing this truth and sincerity on one accord, risking their lives and freedoms to do so. Shalom. Peace be unto you and your households. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, the house of David, all right, to the Akim and Akwath of the 12 tribes, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, Haitians, West Indians, Israelite foreigners that are scattered abroad. You make up the 12 tribes of Israel that the Bible speaks of. May you seek repentance and salvation in these latter days. Now, this was uh, taken right here on uh, a couple weeks ago, April 6th. Okay. And uh, the island, a majority of the island of, of uh, Puerto Rico was without power. Okay. Which, uh, you know, this, this uh, through the spirit, you know, uh, you know, this was kind of going to be the basis of the lesson going into the, uh, the quote unquote potential cyber attacks and things like that. And uh, the potential and, and, you know, through the through the spirit, you know, the belief that, that soon in these latter days, you know, there's going to be a, a lack of those types of resources, including power. And, uh, you know, they're kind of throwing up these false flags and psyops and, and all this talks of it, you know, of uh, potential things to come. And, uh, you know, just through the spirit, once again, uh, you know, many of us uh, true believers of the word of the faith, Yahweh Bashim Shai believe that this is going to come to pass and uh also just through the spirit you know uh well let me go into it real quick actually just bring out a quick scripture this is the book of micah chapter 2 and verse 1 it says woe to them that devise iniquity so sin upon sin it says and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light they practice it because it is in the power of their hand that's right, because it is in the power of their hand. So it is, you know, the chief nemesis, you know what I mean? Our chief enemy, Esau Vedum, so-called white man, and all the other um, wicked nations, the heathen nations that oppress and afflict our people that are all in bed, you know, part of this beast system, okay? These wicked devils, you know, these, uh, yeah, they're devising this type of iniquity. They're devising these things that are going to come to pass, okay? So going into this right here, same thing. This is the company, okay? It's uh, Lume, uh, Salak, if I'm mispronouncing that. But uh, Luma, okay? Luma Energy. And it says, uh, claims it's potentially a circuit breaker. Potentially uh, a failure, right? And the uh, Costa Rica Sur Power Plant along the southern coast of Puerto Rico, okay? Which is causing an island-wide blackout, right? So that's right here. Going into the same tweet, okay? It says, uh, you know, following that press statement, okay? Says uh, it says a massive island-wide blackout potentially caused by a circuit breaker. Okay, and we are not clear of the exact cause at this time. Okay, the teams are responding to restore service, so on and so forth. Yada yada. Okay, so again, this is just uh, potential things to come. But again, uh, also you know false flags and psyops and things like that. You know we know how Esau of Edom, so-called white man, these devils work. Okay. I'm going into John, the book of St. John, chapter 3 and verse 19. It says, And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world. So this truth, you know, this word. Okay. But it says, And men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Right. So those who are of the tribes, the two thirds. Okay. And for the vast majority of these, uh, you know, these, these heathen, man, these wicked, you know, wicked spirits and whatnot, man. They love evil, man. Their deeds are evil. Okay. So also backing up that is uh, verse 20. It says, For every one that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. Right. 
So they hate the light, man. They hate the truth. They hate the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And uh, they don't come into the light. They don't come into this truth, nor can they acknowledge it, okay? Their unless their deeds be reproved. So they can't be reproved, can't be corrected, you know? Because they love fulfilling the lusts of the flesh, okay? And the, the ways of the world are uh, too, you know, they, they're enticed, okay? They're, they're drawn into the ways of the world. And they can't forego the ways of the world because, again, they they love dark, darkness rather than light. All right. They're not willing to make those sacrifices. They're not willing to, you know, forego the things of the world, man, in order to please Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. And, uh, you know, they're, they're, of course, the heathen, those who are not in this, you know, not of the tribes, you know, they are just, uh, yeah, they're just filled with, ultimately, you know, their ways are wicked. Okay. They aren't given this truth. So, you know, this kind of stems off of a, a recent dream I had as well, where I just, you know, keep it somewhat brief. I um, just had a dream that I was in a store in uh, some type of, uh, you know, produce grocery store or some type, you know. And, uh, you know, long story short, is that there was uh, there was no power. There was no power in this place. And they were basically running like registers, like old school style, you know. I'm not sure if they had like some types of generators or anything like that, but... You know, there was a huge line, people scrambling all over the place. There was very little on the shelves, you know. And uh, I remember, I think I grabbed like, like uh, a bread, uh, a bread bowl. I, mean, I remember grabbing like a bread bowl, and I had bread, and I was asking if there was more. And someone who was there working at the time said no. But um, it was pretty chaotic inside the store, although there was still somewhat a decent sense of order. Um, you know, you, it, you can tell that that it was, uh, you know, perilous times, man, that, that, that people were panicking, man, and, and running throughout the store. And there was a lot of commotion, things like that. But uh, people were still willing to stand in line and, and wait to, you know, provide payment for their goods. But, but there was, again, there was very little. So it wasn't, you know what I mean? Complete madness, but it was chaotic, very chaotic. So. So the point being is that there was no power though in this place. There were no lights. There was nothing running off of electricity. Okay, and they may have had like something going to, um, you know, to more or less like keep things, you know, keep things going as far as, you know, keeping the building open. But they had like no lights on. You know, there wasn't like a any, anything else going, man. So um, yeah, just just uh, you know, kind of you you know. Through the spirit, man, just kind of, kind of branching off into that. So, like, yeah, let me go back into the scriptures. And yeah, this is the book of Jeremiah, chapter thirteen, and verse fifteen it says, "Hear ye and give ear; be not proud, for the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai hath spoken." That's right. So, you know, they give ear to the heavenly Father, give ear to and take heed to the word. Okay, be not proud. Because in, here in Babylon, America, you know, spiritually Sodom and Gomorrah, spiritually Egypt, and, and all throughout the all throughout the nations, man, because they drink from the wine of that wrath, you know, they're very proud people. They can't be told otherwise. They can't be rebuked. Can't be corrected. Okay, they they know better. You know, quote unquote. You know, they know all. They you know they can't be told anything, man. You know, very proud. From the young to the old, you know what I mean. They 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 can't take. They're too proud to to be instructed. Take correction. Jeremiah 13 and 16 says, Give glory to the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, your power. That's right. So our people need to come back. Those who are, have the ears to hear and the eyes to see, you know, they need to give glory, man. Give all honor, glory, and praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. Because all things consist of Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, as the scriptures say, roughly paraphrasing. But going back into verse 16, it says, because, Before he caused darkness, and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains. And while ye look for light, he turn it into the shadow of death and make it gross darkness. That's right. And we're in the valley of the shadow of death. Okay. Here in America. Okay. Babylon the Great that the Bible speaks of. Okay. And the Heavenly Father, you know, has brought us into a low state pursuant to the, the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. And also for, for us going off. You know, and our, you know, our forefathers, the, the iniquity, the sins of our forefathers and so on and so forth. But the point being is before he caused darkness and before your feet stumble upon the dark mountains. 
That's right. So we have to take heed. We have to take this light, take this word, take this truth, and let it be a lamp unto our feet, as the scriptures say. We have to we have to guide, we let Yahweh Bashin Shai be our guide. You know, we have to, you know, take heed to the word, okay, this oil, this truth, you know, we have to put into our lamp. We can't be like the foolish virgins. You know, we have to use this light and, and walk that straight and narrow path because there's a fire on one side and a deep water on the other. So we have to be willing to, you know, take the heed to this word, to this truth, you know, before the gates of mercy uh, completely close. And, you know, and if the elect are not already sealed, you know, we got to pray and, and show ourselves approved, you know, be diligent and prudent in this work to Lord willing to be, you know, to show ourselves, you know, to bring forth ripe fruit and to be approval, uh, approved and pleasing to the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So I'm continuing on here. Now, this is an article from the website right here, gizmodo.com. And this was just brought out within the last couple of days here. Speaking on NATO playing cyber war. Okay, it's NATO plays cyber war to prep for a real Russian attack, quote unquote. It says uh, cybersecurity experts from 30 NATO members are cooperating to stave off an attack on the fictional island country of Berylia. Okay, so, you know, going into it, okay, it says uh, we're fighting a digital war, okay, to defend a fictional island country in the northern Atlantic Ocean, okay, Berylia, yada, yada, so they gave it a fake name, okay, so this, the war games dubbed the Locked Shields exercises the North Atlantic Treaty Organization's Cooperative Cyber Defense Center of Excellences, or NATO, yada, yada, there's an acronym right there for short, okay, are heralded by the organization as the world's largest international live fire cyber exercise. Okay, so they'll actually be sitting in front of desks in Estonia itself, the site of a major 2007 cyber attack. Okay, so going down further, okay. Now it says right here, this year, highlight this real quick, Slakia. Yeah, it says this year's exercise is significant for the countries participating because their cyber defense units have been on high alert since the outbreak of the war in Ukraine. Okay, so right here, going down, but here's the point. Okay, so it says in the war games, participate participants representing NATO nations are expected to face multiple hostile events, quote unquote, that target both military and civilian IT systems. The spokesperson said that those attacks have left various communications as well as its government and military networks, water purification systems, and electric power grid at near zero capacity. That's right. With chaos ensuing, the nation's public grows uneasy and mass protests break out. That's right. So, you know, these type of things, simulations, things as such, okay, um, you know, predictive programming and things like that, you know, these false flags and they're building up, you know, they're more or less, you know, building these things up, you know what I mean? And they're, and they're in a way that they're, they're um, you know, bringing it into realization, you know, and of what they're going to do, you know. So, you know, uh, for those that are in this truth, you know, they have ears to hear and eyes to see, you know, we're we're uh, watching, you know, as the watchman of Yahweh Bashim Shai. Okay, we're watching for these types of things and looking out for things to come. And we see patterns. And, and uh, of course, these types of things have been, you know, been going on for many years. But the point being is that they are gearing up. Okay, they're gearing up and they're, they're uh, you know, they're projecting these types of things and they're speaking them into existence, quote unquote, because these things are very likely to take place and very soon. Okay, so. And. Uh, Flip over now to the book of Psalms. Yes, yeah, like yeah. This is the book of Psalms, chapter 144. And I'm going to start at verse 7. Okay, so 140, Psalm 144 and 7 reads, Send thine hand from above. Rid me and deliver me out of great waters from the hand of strange children. That's right. So these strange children, you know, these uh, are the heathen nations, you know, and Esau of Edom, so-called white man. So Psalm 144 and 8 whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. That's right. So their right hand, their way of doing good, okay, that right hand for them, their, their power is falsehood. The right hand of 
falsehood, of lies, deceit, the deceiver, man, that serpent going back to the garden. In verse 9, I will sing a new song unto thee, O the most high, O power, upon a psaltery and an instrument of ten strings will I sing praises unto thee. It is he that giveth salvation unto kings, who delivereth David his servant from the hurtful sword. That's right, so it's the most high that delivers, okay, that's going to deliver the elect, okay. We hope to be of that number right now, the hopeful elect. We hope to be of that hopeful number, okay, to be given that salvation, that blessing. From the things to come, the sad perils, you know, from the hour of temptation, Jacob's trouble, you know, that MOTB pursuant to Revelation 13. We see that they're gearing up that, that grain of rice, you know, they're looking to, you know, put that Frito-Lay chip in everyone, you know, with the ushering in of digital currency, you know, things as such, UBI, things like that, you know, that uh, juicy juice pass, you know, they're going to put it all, they're going to connect it all to it. Okay, so we're going to finish up here in Psalm 144 and 11. It says, Rid me and deliver me from the hand of strange children whose mouth speaketh vanity, and their right hand is a right hand of falsehood. So once again, emphasizing that, the right hand falsehood, deceit, that wickedness, man, those lies, okay? That is how, you know, Esau of Edom and these other wicked devils have continued to keep our people in a low estate, Okay? By perverting and adulterating this word, our heritage, so on and so forth. Okay. So now, and they're keeping the, you know, they're keeping the masses at bay. You know, they're keeping them, uh, you know, they're really doing all this fear mongering and things like that. You know, with all, with all this deceit, you know, and through their, uh, you know, their ties, of course, their control of the media, mainstream media and so on and so forth. So this is, uh, you know, a form of it right here. Okay, this is from the Industrial Control System Cyber Emergency Response Team. Okay, so it says attention energy sector organizations. Okay, actors may compromise your SCADA. These are um, acronyms right here and ICS devices, which we'll go into. Review the latest joint cybersecurity advisory from CISA. Okay. So the Department of Energy, okay? So they're here, Office of Cybersecurity, Energy and Emergency Response. Okay, so that's from the Department of Energy. And also, of course, the NSA, the National Security Agency, and the FBI. So, you know, these things, and this is the article right here that's pulled up. And this actually dates back to the original release date, goes back to October of 2017. Okay, as you can see here, last revised in March 2018. Of course, there's been um, more more recent releases, but it just goes to show that these types of quote unquote threats and things as such have been, uh, you know, they've maintained that um, that kind of presence, you know, that that story, man, that that kind of uh, that okay, they have to worry about these types of threats, quote unquote, things as such. Although, of course, we know that many hackers are, are recruited and, and uh, there's competitions that, that, you know, hack offs, whatever you want to call it, quote unquote, you know, things like that. So, I mean, they're they're sought after. OK, and they're, they're paid handsomely for what they do. So, you know, it's very much a, a trade per se. But going back into this um, it says alert, you know, and this is on the website, okay, cybersecurity infrastructure security agency. Okay, advanced persistent threat activity targeting energy and other critical infrastructure sectors. Okay, so they are targeting, quote unquote. But again, we, we know who's really behind all this. But the point is, is that they are um, kind of creating the dialogue and again, creating that sense of fear, you know, of quote unquote potential threats and things like that. So, you know. It says right here, the joint technical alert. Okay, the TA is a result of analytic efforts between the Department of Homeland Security and the Federal Bureau of Investigation. Okay, so this alert provides information on advanced persistent threat, APT, actions targeting government entities and organizations in the energy, nuclear, water, aviation, and critical manufacturing sectors. That's right. So they're saying that they have... Uh, you know, identified victims in these sectors, so on and so forth. So, you know, they're more or less, um, you know, trying to trying to create, you know, some type of uh, 
you know, instructions and precautions and, you know, things as such, try to create plans per se for, for uh, potential threats and things as such, you know, um, action plans, things like that. Okay, so this is the book of Psalms, chapter 58 and verse 3. It says, the wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. That's right. So they, they be coming out the womb, man, speaking lies, man. They can't fly straight. You know, they ain't straight shooters, man. Wicked deceivers, all right? But that's in their nature. That's why, as the scriptures say, you know, never trust thine enemy. You know, roughly paraphrasing that. So we cannot, you know, trust in these wicked devils. We cannot trust what comes out of their mouth, all right? We can't trust their actions. There's always an angle. They are always looking to undercut the tribes, so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans. Okay, so that's why we can't trust the, the, their wicked deeds. That's what was read earlier, okay? Micah 2, or Salakia, now that was John 3 and 19, or John, St. John chapter 3, Salakia. But the point being, we cannot trust these devils. Okay, so this is the book of Micah chapter 6. And I'm going to start here at verse 10. It says, Are there yet the treasures of wickedness in the house of the wicked and scant and the scant measure that is abominable? It says, Shall I count them pure with the wicked balances and with the bag of deceitful weights? So again, a false balance is an abomination to the Most High. Yahweh Bashem Yahweh roughly paraphrasing that scripture. Okay, and they cannot be trusted because they are wicked deceivers. Okay, deceitful weights. So things are not done in decency and in order. There is no sense of equity. Okay, they are always looking to one up and out, you know, keep our people in a very low state. Okay, so Micah 6 and 12 says, For the rich men thereof are full of violence, and the inhabitants thereof have spoken lies and their tongue is deceitful in their mouth that's right so you know as they say the rich you know how do the rich stay rich you know and they, you know, they're always looking to uh you know they they think that their uh, houses will go on forever you know as the scriptures say roughly paraphrasing you know they're they're looking to uh, create that quote unquote generational wealth and things as such you know and they, they don't, they'll they'll be willing to make sacrifices um, you know, with within their own circle in order to maintain that, you know, for themselves, man. So that's why these devils, you know, they got, we need the kingdom. We need, we need a savior. We need Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Because, you know, it's not going to be of anything of our own strength or our own doing, you know, that's going to set this place all right. It's going to be Yahweh Hashem Yahushai that brings that righteous judgment, man, and that righteous, you know, that, um, that order, you know. So, uh, going back into Micah 6 and 13 says, Therefore also will I make thee sick in smiting thee and making thee desolate because of thy sins. That's right. So even two thirds of our own people are going to be put down and then be brought back on the other side through the loins of the elect. But the Heavenly Father is going to smite these wicked nations. And, you know, that's that's, uh, you know, that's what we're, we haste in the day, you know, because we this place is through, you know. Everything is defiled. Everything is done in, in wickedness and, and in deceit. And again, for their own ill-gotten gain. You know? So they can't, you know, they, they can't seem to, uh, you know, do anything else but that type of wickedness, man. That's why we need the kingdom. You know, going back into the same, uh, you know, this right here from the FBI. Okay, certain advanced persistent threat, APT. Yeah, cyber actors have shown the ability to gain full system access to the mul to multiple industrial control systems, okay, ICS, supervisory control and data acquisition. Okay, so SCADA, okay. So that right there, ICS, you know, from industrial control system, and then SCADA deriving from supervisory control and data acquisition devices. Okay. So this particular article right here. Same thing, okay, released, original release date on the 13th of April, 2022, okay, and the year of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, turning up, okay, as was proclaimed by the elder apostle Tahar, okay, and uh, we got last revised, okay, April 14th, so the next day, okay, so just going into that a little bit, the Department of Energy, DOE, the Cybersecurity and Infrastructure Security Agency, 
CISA, the National Security Agency, the NSA, and the FBI are releasing the Joint Cybersecurity Advisory, CSA, to warn that certain advanced persistent threat, APT, actors have exhibited the capability to gain full system access to multiple industrial control system, ICS, supervisory control and data acquisition, SCADA devices, including Schneider Electric Programmable Logic Controllers. Okay. So right here. So let's go into a little bit further real quick. This is uh, from CyberStrikeSolutions.com. Okay, so let's go into that right here. So these um, acronyms right here. Okay, so it says right here, ICS and SCADA systems are everywhere. These devices provide the ability to automate control over things like the temperature of an office building or the time that lights should turn on automatically. There's IS, uh, Slovakia. ICS and SCADA devices also play an important role in the automation and control of critical infrastructure like wa like power, water, and gas. That's right. So these things are very important in, in maintaining, you know, the um, the more or less automatic control per se, or the the uh, maintaining and, and the efficient, you know, working of these systems. Okay, because without this type of technology, okay, things are are um, you know left in the hands of of you know people per se of men and men and women who are have to physically run these things and of course we know how this kingdom is built you know and uh, everything is is uh you know this the technology and so on and so forth that they have it they're going to use it you know and and they'll uh you know ai artificial intelligence ai and things like that you know um yeah they, they think that it's it's ran more efficiently but the point being is that it is vulnerable it's vulnerable to these types of attacks quote unquote right but then also in this case, again, you know, they want to they want to push that fear upon people. And uh, so I'm going to go on here. It says these systems have often been have off often have limited capabilities in updating the software due to the potential impact it can have on system function. OK, this presents a specific challenge for the cybersecurity perspective. Right. So, again, trying to, you know, proclaim its vulnerability. OK, making it more believable and to the gullible and to those who uh, don't have the um you know the ears to hear the eyes to see who fail to do their own work and research you know and understanding these types of uh you know th this type of tactic that esau beatham uses okay so you know it says right here in the next uh, paragraph it says this obviously raises a certain level of concern about the security of our ics and scatter systems given open source and internet based tools that can enable hackers to discover ICS devices that are not secure, the need for adequate ICS and SCADA security becomes apparent. Mm -hmm. That's right. So these things, you know, whether it be passwords or, or you know, um, you know, different uh, networking, you know, uh, vulnerabilities and things like that, you know, I don't want to go into all the terminology. But the point is, is that these systems are vulnerable, quote unquote, and uh, yeah, you get people who get paid handsomely to to uh, find those, uh, you know, find those ways of uh, getting into the systems, you know. So going back into uh, this right here, in particular, the same article. OK, this is Schneider Electric Programmable Logic Controllers. So these are obviously used by these companies. OK, and running these um, types of you know, infrastructure, you know, running this type of, you know, power, gas, water systems and things like that on a major scale. So this right here now, uh, Slakia. So this area PLC. OK, let's go into that real quick. It says PLC programmable logic controller has become the soul of industrial automation as as it is the hardware component that is directly in contact with the instruments of the field. It gives the access to control and monitor the array of connected machinery and the software system integrated with it. The PLC system can efficiently work with a variety of communication protocols like data analysis, conversions, interfacing, linking, signal processing, rendering, etc. Okay, the system is absolutely user programmable. Okay, so. Exactly. As much monitoring and maintenance are even more hassle free. Right. So it's meant to do, you know, its job and be hassle free, you know, more or less, 
you know, not necessarily maintenance free, but you know, you, not to where it'll maintain itself more or less. And it says one can set triggers on different parameters like temperature, liquid level, opening, or closing of valves, etc. It can be used in the simplest of devices like garage doors to the complex systems like a powerhouse. That's right. So these things are used in broad systems. Or, or, you know, they're used broadly per se, and they're used in a variety of systems to be more, uh, you know, so I get for that. But the point being, these things are used and and, uh, you know, again, they are vulnerable. OK. And these uh, these devils are using these uh, this type of fear mongering and things like that in order to create this narrative. OK, so that's why, you know, they're trying to put it out there that all these things are, uh, you know, can potentially be hacked and attacked and so on and so forth in order for them to to bring, ultimately make it happen. OK. So this is the book of Ezekiel, chapter 13. And uh, I want to read the NLT version of this right here. Uh, this is Ezekiel 13, verse 20. It says, this is what the sovereign Lord says. Okay, the Most High, Yahabashim Yahweh Shai says, I am against all your magic charms, which you use to ensnare my people like birds. That's right. So who's that fowler? Who's that cunning hunter? That's Esau of Edom, the so-called white man. Okay, it says, I will tear them from your arms, setting my people free like birds set free from a cage. That's right. So this modern day captivity, okay? Babylon, America. This is, we're still very much in a modern day captivity. You know, we aren't truly free, all right? We are subject to, you know, everything that this uh, wicked devil, you know, everything from these uh, different types of contracts, you know, driver's license, social security, you know, different things like that. You know, you need a passport to, to uh, go to different you know, parts of the world, so on and so forth, you know. So we are in no way free, you know, paying taxes and, and, and so on and so forth, you know. We are in no way free. But going back to Ezekiel 13 and 21 in the NLT, it says, I will tear off the magic veils and save my people from your grasp. They will no longer be your victims. Then you will know that I am the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's right, because uh, what does the scripture say, roughly paraphrasing that, you know, you held my people captive and you would not let them go? You know, roughly paraphrasing that. Okay, so Ezekiel 13, 22, NLT, you have discouraged the righteous with your lies, but I didn't want them to be sad. And you have encouraged the wicked by promising them life, even though they continue in their sins. That's right, because sin and uh, these the wickedness is, is rewarded in this wicked kingdom. OK, it's rewarded in this place. So that's why, you know, um, we got to continue to separate ourselves and be holy, you know, from the ways of the world, from the lust of the flesh, because we know that it is all wickedness. It is iniquity. All right. Verse 23 says, because of all this, you will no longer talk of seeing visions that you never saw, nor will you make predictions. For I will rescue my people from your grasp. Then you will know that I am the Lord, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. That's right. Speaking of my people, my people. Who's his people? Who's the Lord's people? That's Israel. In particular, the remnant. Okay. The hopeful elect, the 144. All right. Of the 12 tribes. That's the Lord's inheritance. That's the Lord's portion, as the scriptures say. All right. So my people, Israel. Okay. Being brought out of, you know, our captivity, man brought out of the wicked snares and traps of Esau of Edom and all these other wicked heathen nations that oppress and afflict our people. So this is just another form of it right here, okay? With these, uh, you know, these quote-unquote potential cyber attacks and whatnot, okay? Because they got their underground bunkers, you know, even though they're going to be brought out of them, you know? But the point being, they have all those types of resources and luxuries uh, that they can depend on because they are in control of things. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to Another, um, you know, so following up on that, okay, this is from tying into Wired, okay, this is uh, feds uncover a Swiss army knife, quote unquote, for hacking industrial control systems, malware designed to target industrial control systems like power grids, factories, water utilities, and oil refineries represents a rare species of digital badness. 
So when the United States government warns of a piece of code built to target not just one of those industries, but potentially all of them, critical infrastructure owners worldwide should take notice. Right. So this is uh, an article stemming from the same tweet right there. OK, so this is from Wired. That was just posted on uh, April 13th here. OK, so same thing. Now you see there Schneider Electric, which is featured. OK, we just talked about those. Um, you know, the PLCs. So again, yeah, it's a programmable logic controller, okay, which are, you know, made by Schneider Electric here. So like it. Okay, so I'm going to a little bit here. It says malware designed to target industrial control systems like power grids, factories, water utilities, and oil refineries represents a rare species of digital badness. Okay, so yeah, it says right here, um, Released advisory about a new hacker tool set potentially capable of meddling with a wide range of industrial control system equipment. Okay, so speaking on these things, um, I'm gonna kind of skim through this. Like yeah, I read it earlier, but just gonna kind of go for the meat of it. Okay, so this right here, this is the most expansive industrial control system attack tool that anyone has ever documented. All right, so they're really building it up. You know, they're building this thing up to be the the, uh, you know, the creme de la creme of, of hacking tools, you know, and, uh, and this is it here. He notes that while this toolkit, which called Dragos, calls Pipe Dream, appears to specifically target Schneider Electric and Omron PLCs. OK, it does so by exploiting underlying software in those PLCs known as code C's. OK, so I say that these things have flaws in particular, these types of things. And of course, if you do the research, they're probably widely used, you know, probably, you know, probably uh, the most used as far as the uh, industries go, you know, probably very widely used. OK. So, you know, just speaking on that again. OK. Go a little further down. OK, so it says, uh, yeah, it says while the toolkit's adaptability means it could be used against practically any industrial environment. From manufacturing to water treatment, Dragos points out that the apparent focus on Schneider Electric or Omron PLCs does suggest that the hackers may have built it with power grid and oil refineries, particularly liquefied natural gas facilities in mind, given Schneider's wide use in electric utilities and Omron's broad adoption in the oil and gas sector. That's right. So there you go. You have it, you know widely used within the you know liquefied natural gas facilities and things as such oil refineries and uh yeah within electric utilities and so these things are going to be targeted and they are likely to be the first types of utilities quote-unquote resources affected by these quote-unquote cyber attacks okay so this is the book of ecclesiasticus also known as sirach chapter 51 and we'll start at verse two it says, for thou art my defender and helper. That's right. Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and Yahweh Shai. All right. We, we have, uh, you know, no strength, you know, in the sense that we cannot protect or deliver ourselves. All right. No, it's all the will of the Heavenly Father. It says, and has preserved my body from destruction and from the snare of the slanderous tongue. It's right, because our people are slandered against, you know, as the scripture saying, you know, like you, thou slanders thy, thy own mother's son. So, you know, that perpetual hatred that Esau of Edom has for for Jacob. And that's, uh, you know, because, of course, being twin brothers. So that perpetual hatred that Esau of Edom, the so-called white man, has for the, you know, for the 12 tribes. OK, those deriving from our forefather, Jacob, through Abraham and Isaac. And continuing on, uh, Ecclesiasticus, Sirach. From the Apocrypha, chapter 51 and verse 2, same verse, says, And from the lips that forge lies and has been mine helper against my adversaries, mine enemies. That's right. So, you know, from the lips that forge lies. Again, that deception, that deceit, those wicked lies, man. Okay. And verse 3 says, And has delivered me according to the multitude of thy mercies and greatness of thy name. That's right. The greatness of the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai which is to be exalted above all men, always and forevermore. And, uh, you know, according to the multitude of, of the mercies, okay, so the mercies of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, 
you know, as the scriptures say, you know, the tender mercies of David. You know, that's what we're going to need. We're going to need mercy. We're going to need that forgiveness. We beseech, we beg the Heavenly Father for that. Same verse says, from the teeth of them that were ready to devour me and out of the hands of such as sought after my life. That's right, because they're seeking to, uh, you know, keep us from being a nation pursuant to Psalm 83. You know, they're keeping us from being a people, you know, Slakia, uh, roughly paraphrasing that. But the point being is that they want to hide our heritage, pervert this word, adulterate our heritage, man, so on and so forth. And they, they seek after our lives, man, you know, because as the scriptures say, also, we have no assurance of our life. You know, that's within Deuteronomy 28. So it's part of the curses as well. Okay, but I'm going to go on and uh, it says, uh, Sirach 51 and 3, in the back end of that verse says, And from the manifold of, uh, Slakia, and from the manifold afflictions which I had. That's right. So I want to go into the Google definition for the word manifold. Okay, and that goes into many and various. That's right. So we've had many and various types of afflictions. Okay. Being in this wicked kingdom, being in this captivity. So our people have had to suffer and endure. Okay. And we continue to, but Lord willing that we'd be given that hedge of protection in the latter days and these perilous times to come in the times of Jacob's trouble. Okay. And ultimately, uh, you know, be given that salvation when the arrows are shot from the ends of the earth and from all over the world. And when they're shot at Babylon the Great, America, and when this place is, you know, utterly bombarded with ICBM missiles, hypersonic missiles, when it is utterly destroyed and made desolate pursuant to the scriptures, okay? Lord willing, it would be of that number, the true believers, okay, of the word, uh, under the tutelage of, of Great Millstone, the elder apostles on down, all the like-minded brothers, okay? Lord willing, we'd be of that number, okay? So we're going to need that to, to escape the said perils. You know, our faith, our works, it's true belief, so on and so forth. We're going to we're gonna need that, you know, from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. I don't want to that. would be of that number. So now it's just kind of a little bit of a follow-up here. You know, it says right here, this is from April 7th of uh, 2022. Again, the year of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, turn it up. It says, India confirms reports of Chinese cyber attacks on Indian power grid assets. Yet, amid China's ongoing border aggression, India recently approved foreign investment worth $1.79 billion from neighboring nations without disclosing that many, perhaps most, proposals were from China. Right. Hmm. Interesting. So as a follow-up here, this is from April 19th. Okay. It says, just in, Chinese state-sponsored hackers had targeted India's power grids in Ladakh, and it's like if I'm mispronouncing that, possibly for information on India's critical infrastructure or to prepare for sabotage in the future. That's right. So doing business with them, yet you're still you're hacking into their systems and whatnot, things as such. Hmm. Can't trust these devils. Can't trust these devils. All right. They're they're looking to be a superpower as well, you know, because you get countries like that, Chinese, Russia, you know, India, things as such. They're kind of in bed together yet. They're going to try to deceive each other as well and kind of one up each other, you know, and uh, they're, they're still trying to play both sides or multiple sides of the fence, you know, because that's just in their nature. So right here, this is the book of Job, chapter 15 and verse five it says, for thy mouth uttereth thine iniquity, sin upon sin, and thou choosest the tongue of the crafty. That's right. They're crafty. These wicked devils, these deceivers constantly undercutting each other you know and so on and so forth man they cannot be trusted okay so you know these uh these devils man again they're they're, they're crafty with it you know they 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 shake a hand one day and stab you in the back the next you know so they cannot be trusted i guarantee you that they don't even trust each other you know so so kind of, and just to kind of, you know, for, uh, add a little bit more into that, you know, these quote unquote threats and whatnot, again, from October 2021, you know, ongoing cyber threats to U.S. water and wastewater systems. OK, so various threats, you know, threat overview. OK, uh, there have been, um, you know, sites and, and aspects of the systems that have been attacked, quote unquote, before. But this is just kind of a. 
give a quick look into that, you know, says compromise of U.S. water treatment facility, you know, date back to February 2021. Okay, so it's not just electricity, but again, as we've read, you know, what wastewater treatment, uh, natural gas, you know, things like that, refining systems, um, different electric utilities, things as such. Okay, so there's more or less nothing that uh, is, is uh, you know, nothing's out of reach, you know, and uh, everything is fair game. You know, to Esau of Edom and all these other uh, wicked heathen and, and those who are looking to, you know, perform these types of wicked deeds, you know, to to further, uh, you know, further their agenda, per se. You know, same thing here, different types of alerts. OK, through this uh, cybersecurity and infrastructure security agency. OK, you see here, Russian sponsored criminal threats, to infrastructure, you know, different things, you know, just another form of. Uh, keeping people, you know, informed, quote unquote, yet yeah, really it's just, you know, another another way of, uh, of fear mongering and things like that, you know. So they want to propose all these things, you know, like find a ransomware, yada, yada. And this is more than nine pages worth of material here, so won't necessarily go into it all. Take a quick look at page two, you know, just to kind of go into it, you know, so different types of, you know, malware, things like that course all types of coming from all over the place you know the korean iranian so on and so forth so you get the picture is that they want to create that narrative that everything is is uh you know is is under potential threat so okay we get the point so i'll finish up here close out with uh, the book of job chapter 20 and this is verse 4 which reads knowest thou not this uh slaka says knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment. That's right. So it's but for a moment, man. These wicked devils, as a as the scriptures say, you know, a day in the kingdom is as a thousand years. You know, so this life here and the triumphing of the wicked, man, short lived. Short lived in the eyes of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, Job 20 and 6 says, Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, because again, exalting himself as the eagle, you know, exalting himself as the most high. And verse 7, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung, like his own feces. Okay, we know what that means, you know, like his own shit, you know, and uh, part of my part of my Italian is Elder Gabar, uh, Elder Apostle Gabar says, you know, so it says they which have seen him shall say, where is he? He shall fly away as a bad dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. The eye also which saw him shall see him no more. Neither shall his place any more behold him. That's right. So this wicked devil, Esau of Edom, the so-called white man, the devil the Bible speaks of going to be knocked off his high horse, quote unquote, going to be knocked out of, that's it, man. The Heavenly Father is going to lay it down, okay? He's going to lay it down. And after serving captivity, okay, in the kingdom to come, after serving that thousand years, Heavenly Father is going to completely do away with Esau, the so-called white man, okay? All these other heathen nations are going to be in subjection, okay? Be under righteous rulership of the tabernacle of David, under King David, under Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai, under the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay, and that's all biblical prophecy. So it's just it's just a matter of time. All right, we hasten the day for the return of the Messiah, the only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai, Hamashiach. So Lord willing, this lesson was edifying, comforting to the hopeful elect of Israel. So like if it went a little long, but you know, just through the Spirit, just want to bring it out. And, uh, you know, close this lesson out as always by giving all honor, glory, and praises unto our power. Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachak Wadash. Once again, we'll give double honors to the head apostles, to the elders, bishops, and teachers of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well across the four winds, to the like minded brothers, the Akim, who are under the umbrella, pushing this truth in sincerity, all in one accord, risking your lives and freedoms to do so. Shalom. Peace be unto you and your households. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect, the house of David, the Akim and the Akwath, the brothers and sisters, repenting in the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom. Peace be unto you and your households. All right. Abad Babal. Abad Babal. Abad Babal. DTA. Soon and real soon. Qualm Yasharala. Shalom.